All right, good morning, friends. I hope you guys are having a great morning. Um, we are going to go ahead and do lesson 20 problem set. All right, it says use a tape diagram to represent each atom. Decompose one of the tape diagrams to make like units. Then write the complete number sentence. Part A is partially complete. All right, so for this one, they took their fourths, as you can see, the big lines, and they dashed them out so then they had eighths because they were dealing with one fourth plus one eighth. So first they shaded in their one fourth and then they made them into eighths. So this is the one fourth, which is the same as two eighths. Agreed? All right, and then over here, this is the one eighth because we can't add things that have different denominators together. So, to show this, we have 2 eighths plus 1 eighth equals 3 eighths. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can do B. All right, we have 1 fourth and 1 twelfth. So I'm gonna draw my two tape diagrams. And I'm gonna split this one into fourths. Two is not being one, so that's one. And then this one is a twelfth. tricky. All right, so I have my twelfths and I have my fourths. Well, I only have one twelfth to shade in. So I need to make my fourths into twelfths. So how do I do that? Well, I can do twelve divided by four to tell me how many pieces each of these need to be broken into. So twelve divided by four is three. So I know that in each of these I need three pieces now. Go ahead and do that. Then we can count them up to make sure I was right. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. All right, and now this has become um, 3 twelfths. And this is still 1 twelfth. So to add those up, we do 3 twelfths plus 1 twelfth, and that gives us 4 twelfths. All right, if you still aren't feeling like you completely get it, don't worry. We are going to keep going, and um, I'm sure that it will make more sense the more we practice these. All right, so now we have 2 sixths and 1 third. So I'm going to draw my tape diagram and do 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, shade 2 of them. Third, one, two, three. And I'm going to shade one of those in. All right, so I can make my thirds into six by doing what? Hopefully, you're all thinking cutting them in half. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these guys in half. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So I still have two sixths here, but now my one third has become two sixths as well. So all I have to do is add those up, 2 6 plus 2 6, and I have 4 6. Alright, hopefully you guys are feeling pretty good on those. We are going to go ahead and skip down to letter F and see if we can figure that one out. Alright, we have 2 thirds and 2 ninths. So I'm going to draw 2 tape diagrams and represent each of those in, those, in there. So this one will be my thirds. And I will lightly shade in two. And then I'm going to take mine. I'm going to make ninths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to shade in two of my ninths. All right. And on this one, I know that three can, I mean, nine can go into three three times. So I'm going to make these guys into three. Three, so now they have equal parts. This one has nine parts, and that one has nine parts. But now, instead of two thirds, this is six ninths. And this is still two ninths. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add those up. Six ninths plus two ninths. Oops. 
not eighths, two and three hundredths equals eight ninths. And we're done. We will go back to those ones in a little bit, but go ahead and flip over your paper. And now it looks like we are going to use some number lines. Estimate to determine if the sum is between 0 and 1 or 1 and 2. Draw a number line to model the addition, then write a complete number sentence. Part A has been completed for you. All right, so they were doing 1 half plus 1 fourth. So on their number line, it looks like they started at 0 and they added 1 half. And then they added 1 fourth. All right, so they end up at 3 fourths. So they said 2 fourths, which is the same as 1 half, plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. All right, let's see if we can agree with them there. All right, our problem is 1 half plus 4 tenths. So I think for us it's going to be easiest here if we um, figure out how many tenths this 1 half is equal to. And we can add this problem up before we even get going to know, um, well I think it says estimate, doesn't it? Um, estimate to determine if the sum is between 0 and 1 or 1 and 2. I guess we need an estimate, don't we? All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think it's between 0 and 1 or between 1 and 2? I'm guessing that you guys are going to think it is between 0 and 1, okay? So that's where I'm going to draw my number line. So on one end here I have 0, and then I have 1, and I'm going to mark my half mark, which happens to be where we have to go. So go ahead and draw a dot at 0, so I know that's where we, where we start. And we will go up that half since it's already marked. Whoop. And we landed there. So go right plus half. And now we have to move four tenths. So we need to show tenths on here. So this is from zero to one. We have ten pieces from here to there. So five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can move four. One, two, three, four. And we end up here, which is what? Nine tenths. All right, let's see if we can make a number sentence that matches that. Well, one half is equal to how many tenths? Five tenths, right? So five tenths plus four tenths equals nine tenths. Do those two match? Looks like it to me. All right, we are going to go ahead and do a couple more of these, and then I will have you do some on your own. All right, so C is 6 tenths plus 1 half. All right, again, let's estimate. You think it's going to be above 1 or below 1? I mean, uh, between 0 and 1 or between 1 and 2? I'm going to go ahead and make this one between 1 and 2. So I'm going to make my number line. And I'm going to start it at 0, end it at 2, and have my midpoint be 1. And we are dealing with tenths. So we have to make this in tenths, but this time, from here to here is 10, and from here to here is 10. So we need to mark all of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so we are going to start at 0, and we are going to add 6 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whoop, we end up right there. So, plus 6 tenths. And then we are going to add a half. Well, how many halves do we, how many tenths is a half equal to? It's equal to 5, so we're going to move it 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and that leaves us at 1 and 1 tenth. Sometimes you guys will notice I do big jumps like this. Sometimes I do little ones. Either way is okay. Whatever is easiest for you. All right, so 1 and 1 tenth. Let's see if it's right. Let's change this to tenths. So we have 6 tenths plus 5 tenths, which gives us 11 tenths. Is that equal to 1 and 1 tenth? I believe so. All right, great job. Let's scooch down to E. We have 
3 fourths and 6 eighths. So let's go ahead and make a number line and then we'll decide what needs to go on each end. We'll always start at zero. Does that decide we're going to put a one here or are we are going to put a two here? I think we are going to put a two here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to mark my one. And our biggest unit we have here is eight. So I'm going to go ahead and mark each side with eight pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll start at zero. And I'm gonna go up three fourths. Uh oh, I don't have fourths, so I have eighths. So how many eighths equal three fourths? Hopefully you guys can come up with six eighths. So I'm gonna move this one six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then look at it, this is six eighths too, so I have to go six eighths more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I land here, which is one and one, two, three, four eighths. One and four eighths. All right, let's see if we add this up and get the same thing. All right, three fourths we said is the same as six eighths, so six eighths plus six eighths. Six plus six is twelve. Let me bring our eighths over. So 12 eighths is the same as 1 and 4 eighths. All right, what I would like you guys to do here for um, homework, if you, you can work on it in class, but whatever you don't finish is homework. You need to do um, less on the first page. You need to do D and E, D and E. And on the second page, you need to do D, F, and number three. All right, go ahead and get started.